What's the difference between a community manager and a community architect? Probably nothing. Um, it's just the idea that someone would be able to manage a community seems a little off because it's like herding cats or whatever. Like you can't, people can't manage communities because by definition, or I don't know if it's by definition, but by my definition, yeah. <laughs> communities create and manage themselves. Um, so to be able to participate in a community, to draw out um, participation, to be able to um, help retell some of the stories that are forming, to help codify the language, to help uh, you know describe what is going on in the community and invite more people to participate. Those are all things that you can do, but it's a very different thing from managing them. Um, and so the reason I'm really excited about kind of the metaphor of community architecture um, is because on the management side, like if you're really thinking about owning or managing or directing or controlling a community, the types of things you can do uh, are have a lot more to do with the type of space that you create for people. Mm. So when you build a stadium and the lights are on and everyone's in a circle and we all see each other and almost everything is kind of out in the open and there's teams and we're competing against each other, that space creates that type of community. Okay. In a theater, the lights are off. We're all facing the same direction. Most of the infrastructure is all behind the curtain um, and people are kind of together silent you know the walls are covered in foam and sure. there's curtains that soak up sound in the stadium it's cement and steel and making it all louder you know so just the way the space is designed has a major impact on the way the community comes together and interacts in that space so if you, when you're trying to manage own control yeah. drive focus like if you're in mean, most companies are trying to do those types of things with community just trying to help them rethink about on the product side and on the experience side how they're creating a space that actually enables and inspires people to interact in the way they would hope they would. Right. Then you get into those other pieces. <laughs> sure, sure. So how do you define online community? Is it a collection of people who all visit the same destination? Is it a collection of people who are all interested in the same thing? I mean, is it both? No, that sounds good. <laughs> Next. No, I mean, it, it's, I mean, communities are communities, whether they're online or off or whatever. Yeah. It's, it's people with shared, uh, language, stories, uh, goals or purpose, um, like those are the things that make community online or off. Um, so in the particular kind of the interest in the online world, because a lot of people are trying to build online communities, um, it's the very same types of things, it's just different ways of going about it because you're not sitting together. Um, like in the real world, best way to build a community is build a fire. And people are just going to come sit around and start talking. And the first thing people try to do is figure out, like, so, you know, I like to fish. And you may be like, oh, me too. Or, yeah. ah, I'm, you know, more of a football guy. I like hockey. Uh, you know, and yeah. like, we, we like to figure out, like, oh, so, okay, what do we have in common? Mm -hmm. You know, and then we start telling our stories. And they're the best whenever we kind of see ourselves in them. And so people come together that way. And then things fall apart when you don't have shared stories language, interest, purpose, you know, mm -hmm. those types of things. So the the joy is now you can literally, it's the worst use of literally ever. <laughs> you can create communities that are across the globe, across span, people who may never meet in person are able to interact in ways, you know, that might have never been possible before. Mm -hmm. my, so I had a friend who kind of tweeted this thing that kind of blew my mind. It's still messing with me a lot. It's like, imagine if Facebook or Twitter were here, uh, what has it been, 15, 20 years since the Iraqi invasion? Mm -hmm. He's like, if they were here then, that might have been the first government overthrown by the people. Yeah. Um, and they're just like, wow. You know, versus how much money has been spent on yeah. doing it not through connecting people online and virtually and helping them move into a physical community mm -hmm. I don't know it's just right crazy to no, me no no <laughs> so creating a vibrant online community you know that's sort of the, the thing that a lot of companies are trying to pursue but is there a certain amount of luck involved in it is it catching lightning in a bottle I think a community forming exactly the way you had hoped it had before you started off mm -hmm. would absolutely be 
capturing lightning in a bottle. Um, because I think that's almost impossible to predict. Right. Um, when there's a willingness to allow the community to create itself and to create itself in the way that it wants to, um, that's totally predictable, uh, creatable. Um, I, you know, I, I'm biased, but I really believe that like you could make a community out of anyone, out of anything, if you're open to exactly what that means like what people are going to discover as this thing that binds us together. Uh -huh. The nice thing is though, is there's this crazy thing, homogeneous unit principle where people like to be in units of people the same. Yeah. So, so that's, I don't know, whatever. Long, stupid word for a simple thing. Um, but so once you do have what you're looking for, people aren't, that aren't going to come be a part of it that don't really align with it or want to be a part of it. Like they'll, sure. you know, drift off. And so at that point you have the option to, facilitate the creation of multiple companies um, companies multiple communities right. you know or like try to force everyone into one particular one okay no, that makes sense so the last question I have for you are there aspects and you the, you seem to touch on this initially as well are there aspects of community that can be the community formation I mean that can be managed those types of things that you know if you're trying to build a certain type of community, you, you brought up the stadium before, you brought mm -hmm. up the stage, and, and those do bring different expectations yeah. with them. So is that type of thing, and this is a bad word for it, but can it be manipulated in the way that you want it to be, to form the type of community you're aiming for? I, it can be used in intentional instead of manipulated. Sure, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, but I mean, but yes, you know, absolutely. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's a matter of uh, retelling the stories or finding a way to tell the stories that kind of most aligned with what you envision and are hoping for. Yeah. Um, learning how to, uh, you know, so with the architecture metaphor, like, you know, great architects think about light and what is going to be receiving light or natural light or where do they need to put in light? What is transparent and what's opaque and what's, you know, like frosted glass. So sure. there's some light, but you can't see straight through. So they, they, they enable the focus to go and they use the space to drive focus onto particular things. Okay. Or they think about sound and, you know, so amplification, like, you know, is it going to be, you know, wood floors and, and high ceilings because we want there to be a, a lot of, a lot of noise kind of, sure. you know, in the space or are we trying to really dampen everything. So similarly with communities, you know, what is it that, that you're trying to highlight and bring yeah. forward? So is it individual contributions? Is it instead, you know, trying to drive people into conversations? You know, so if you're ever in a restaurant or something, you notice that they always keep the music, good ones, always keep the music at the point where you can't hear the next table, but you can just hear what's happening right there. So they have right. a lot of people crammed to it in the smallest space as possible but they also yeah. make it to where it still feels like a private conversation between the people who are you know facing each other mm -hmm. and who came there together so if that's what you're trying to do you know then there's you know so is it wide open forums or is it you know a focus on content and kind of hide the conversation is conversation allowed at all yeah um if you watch some of the chorus stuff you know they're going through some interesting exploration of policy yeah. and like you know what types of so even just like it's not just question they're even getting yeah. into which type of questions are allowed right and so if it's a you know if it's polling um versus opinion you know uh they'll they'll really get into the nuance of what they allow and what they don't because of the type of even just questions mm. they want the community to explore um so all kinds of things yeah. like that that can certainly be uh um, utilized um as you know you're moderating and as you're inviting and as you're marketing and messaging um, to really shape a community a certain way interesting well thank you very much for being with us i appreciate it thank you for having me it's so great to meet you